Hello, I'm Guy, and this is Guy Robot. Hello, so it's time for me to look at a paper again. This week, I'm going to try it slightly differently. I'm going to try and do the entire paper in just five minutes, including this spiel at the beginning. So let's jump straight in. This week, the paper I read was SimSensei Kiosk a virtual human interviewer for healthcare decision support, which was presented at the Autonomous Agent and Multi-Agent Systems Conference in 2014 by Devol, and Ben et al. There's like 40 names on there. It was originally from some DARPA research. The summary of this is virtual human. What's a virtual human? Well, a virtual human in this context is merely a computer-rendered image of a human doing something. In this particular case, it's a virtual human that's designed to provide support for depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. So you end up with the output being a computer-rendered human sat on a couch going, hmm, tell me more. So the idea behind this is that people who are suffering from PTSD or depression are able to A, get support while they're waiting or in between seeing an actual human therapist, and B, long-term analysis of said person through computer algorithms can potentially actually say whether symptoms are getting better or worse, or whether actually new symptoms are developing. So the premise behind this is to basically wrap up a therapist in a computer algorithm that somebody then has a Skype call with, or webcam, whatever. Fundamentally, this bases off a whole bunch of off-the-shelf ideas. There is the idea of a computer architecture for virtual humans, now, actually, this is basically just a series of tiers for kind of, in effect, vision, speech, recognition, and also kind of the physical signs, non-verbal behavior, like I'm doing at the moment, being able to implement it, and a message queue between all the different software components so they can talk together and then come up with what's happening. And what Sim Sensei have done very cleverly is select a whole bunch of different components. I won't list them here. They're in the blog post that's linked in it. But in effect, they've taken a bunch of computer vision things for gaze detection, facial tracking, uh, expression recognition. They've then taken a bunch of natural language processing, of which they've divided into four different tiers from kind of general conversational, uh, small talk, domain specific information, and kind of the interview questions and the context behind them. And then they come up with the non -behavior, non verbal behaviors so that. Ellie, as they've called their virtual human, can respond properly and go, hmm, and nod. So that's pretty much it. The clever bits they've done is actually tying all this together in a really good way, selecting the right technologies, and they've done a lot of clever work around the language understanding. Because if I ask you a question, tell me about a time that made you feel sad. Well, you could talk about anything. You could talk about your puppy dying. You could talk about seeing a dead flower. You could talk about a movie you saw last night moving house when you were seven years old. There's so much context there that's uh, not impossible to get down. It's very difficult to actually know when someone's talking, is this good, is this bad? What's the context of what they're talking about? And what they've done is look at the word valence, to look at individual words and groups of words for are they positive, are they negative? What do the, what's the person that's talking saying about this? And that bit I think is particularly clever because it means that you have the impression of understanding whilst the software doesn't really know 90% of what you're talking about. Uh, it was also really good because this was done in three phases. First, there was a human phase. They got humans to actually be the psychologist and do the interviews. Then they had a Wizard of Oz approach where the software was controlled by two humans, one person doing non-verbal behavior, one person doing the spoken behavior. And then they looked at this, they modeled it, they did the automation, and they came up with the automated system. Results from it? Well, bizarrely, the Wizard of Oz approach and the automated approach came out better than the real human therapist in terms of people wanting to engage with it, recommend it to a friend, and reveal information to it. The Wizard of Oz approach overall came out better. People liked talking to that one more than they enjoyed talking to just the automated one. But the results were very close, which actually means that, as it is, this is a potentially really good mental health intervention for people that could have depression and PTSD, although based on the DARPA funding, I suspect this is going to be limited to military cases for now. Personally, I really enjoyed reading this. It's only eight, ten pages long, something like that, but it was a really enjoyable read and a really good look at how to actually piece these things together. As mentioned before, this kind of fits along some of the stuff that I'm looking at doing, and it's nice that a lot of the stuff would have been done to give me kind of more of a focus of the areas I want to look at. But this was really, really interesting. I enjoyed the paper. Um, there was no mass revelation, this is the amazing thing we've done, but they very cleverly tweaked the existing things there to give this overall perception 
and more importantly, to be able to provide a genuine intervention and support tool for mental health. So I enjoyed reading this. Thank you to the SimSensei team for actually producing this. I look forward to studying the dozens of reference papers that have been cited in it from actual data sets. Um, I might cover some of those in the future. I might just read them by myself. Who knows? And that's it. That's my first attempt at doing this in five minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this paper summary. If you did, please press like. Otherwise, press dislike. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Please check out some of my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe.